What's poppin' everybody, I'm Superior Kai, and today I'm going to talk about my concept for a new Infamous game. So if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I've talked about the future of Infamous before, specifically making two videos, one about the next game that could potentially come out, and then a follow-up video saying how Sucker Punch has confirmed that they aren't making any new Infamous or Sly Cooper games, and don't have any plans on making them in the future, which, you know, sucks. But that doesn't mean we can't create concepts of our own, and heck you never know, this could end up being seen by Sucker Punch themselves and realize, hey, you know, the fans have some pretty cool ideas, let's revitalize the series because, you know, superheroes are booming right now. And it, me, just my, me personally, I feel like the Infamous series is one of the more superhero franchises of recent years that takes itself seriously, unlike, you know, MCU. But that's a pain for another video. Anyways, if you are a fan of Infamous, I want you guys to comment down below your favorite game in the series and whether or not you've read the comics or even if you knew they had comics, which I would say they're pretty dope. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss tips of videos posted here on the channel and be notified when I go live. So to start off the concept, Cole McGrath needs to come back. I know a lot of people like Delson Rowe or maybe want to see something different, but sorry, Cole is the main character of Infamous and I think he is pretty much the core characters out of all of them. And I know a lot of fans like him. But I can already see your guys' comments saying, Oh no, Cole can't come back because he died at the end of Infamous 2 and good ending is canon because Infamous Second Son exists, yada yada yada. Listen, hey, hey, listen, 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 okay? Let me explain, okay? I got you. So when it comes to good Cole coming back, you're absolutely right. He can't come back. But it doesn't mean bad Cole can't come back. You know, I'm talking about the cooler, more badass one who has the red or slash orange lighting. They can never really figure out which one is which. But the concept I have for Evil Cole ending up in the Second Son timeline is pretty simple. You know, after he literally nukes half the world trying to create conduits, well, obviously it didn't work out. And as we know as Infamous fans, Cole having the ability to time travel isn't something new. I mean, Kessler was able to do it, and he ended up creating a whole new timeline itself. So it's not really far-fetched to see Evil Cole ending up in the new timeline where everything, hey, worked out. You know, conduits are still around and humans are just alive and booming. And with that alone brings so many narrative ideas with how Evil Cole interacts with the new world and whether or not he wants to go straight or maybe, you know, continue his evil BS and how he interacts with Zeke, whether or not he even tells him that, hey, I killed you in another timeline because, you know, you got in the way. Now, when it comes to the setting, I think they should just go back to Empire City. Now, I saw a YouTube video, I'm not sure or forgot which one it was, but they were talking about how Empire City was like, should be rebuilt into like new empire. And I think that's a pretty cool idea. And when it comes to actual villains, there is one in particular by the name of Sasha that can easily come back. Now, if you guys didn't know, Infamous does have comics, like I said before, and they pretty much confirm what happens to a lot of characters that weren't in Infamous 2. Like Sasha, she ended up surviving Infamous 1. Now, I'm not going to go over the plot of the Infamous comics because I'd say they're pretty good if you're an Infamous fan. I suggest checking them out. But with the world being filled with conduit, there is so much you could do with boss fights. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am a sucker for when it comes to good boss fights. You know, mano a mano, one to one, no BS henchmen, which I hate in video games. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I just I hate having to fight minions on on side while also fighting the main guy. That's just the stupid. Now, there is one mechanic that I do want to take away from Second Son, and that is super speed. And yes, I am suggesting that Cole ends up being flash with it. Now don't get me wrong, I don't mind scaling the wall like I'm freaking Daredevil or Spider-Man, but gameplay wise, if you're in a firefight, which one would you rather? Would you rather just run up a wall super fast, or would you rather just be stuck there? You know, looking down on your enemy while they're shooting you in the ass. I, you know, pick. Now when it comes to the powers of the beast, and Cole pretty much being amped. Now, a lot of people may not like me for this one, but it's just how gaming works when it comes to sequels and stuff. A lot of stuff doesn't transfer over to the next game, so Cole's probably was gonna lose all those abilities, right? The fire abilities that he had from Nyx, gone, right? The buff that he got from John the Beast, gone too. Now when it comes to the tone of the new Infamous, I feel like they should go right back to basics. Infamous 1, all right? I am tired of the goofy uh, side of superhero stuff that we've gotten in recent years, right? I, obviously, not really, because that's really just the MCU and kind of the DCU to a certain extent, right? I mean, you still have the boys, you still have Invincible, which are fire. Infamous 1, I love the tone of the first one, so I feel like it's just go back to that. Dark, gritty. Now, when it comes to Karma system, I feel they dropped the ball in Second Son and Infamous 2, but there's a solution for that, right? Obviously, have there be character choices and narrative-driven 
uh, actions and have there be three endings, right? A good ending, a neutral ending, and a bad ending. So obviously if you do more good things, you get the good ending. If you do more bad things, you get the bad ending. And if you're kind of in the middle, middle where uh, hey, you kill a civilian here or save a civilian there, beat a bad guy here or kill a bad guy there, you know, you get the more neutral side. Right, and I feel character choices as well as how you interact with the NPCs in your world determine, you know, your points or your where you align, you know, on the spectrum. But that is going to be it for this video. If you have any ideas on how to make an infamous game, like I said before in my previous video, I will fax that over to Sucker Punch because listen, this is money right here, right? Right, this is monies, all right, money. Anyways, I'm Superior Kai. If you like your song, don't want to see more, get the like, share, come subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, I'm out. Deuces.